good morning and welcome back to Summer Learning. Wow, it's great to see you. I'm so glad you could join me today. And Lammy Poo and Dino are ready to get us started. Are you ready to sing our good morning song to get ready? They said they're ready. Are you ready? Great. One, two, three. Good morning, Miss Flowers Class. How are you? Good morning, Miss Flowers Class. How are you? How are you this special day? We're so glad you came today. Good morning, Miss Flowers Class. How are you? Wow, I hope you're doing so great. Are you guys ready to get in your special spots? Are you ready? Yep, so we can get started with our letters. All right. So, first of all, we're going to sing our alphabet song so that we can identify our letters again, just to get them fresh in our mind this morning. Are you ready? Let's do it. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time won't you sing with me? Who? Me. That's right. All right. It is time to get started with identifying some of these letters and their sounds. So, we are going to start with letter, what is this letter? You're right, this is letter A. And what does letter A sound like? You're right, ah, ah. Can you open your mouth and say that? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so let's start with letter A. Letter A can you touch the letter A to identify it in this word? Yep. What looks, what letter looks like this? Just touch it. You're right. There it is. There's the letter A. And what is this a picture of? You're right. This is an apple. The apple begins with the letter a. Very good. Very good. So let's just put it right there on the letter A. Do you like that? Good. Okay. So now let's look at letter B. Letter B. Okay. If you see letter B in this word, could you just put your finger right on it? Do you see letter B in this word? Yes, there it is, right there, letter B. And can you guess what this word might be just by looking at the picture? You're right, b ball, b ball, ball begins with letter b, b, b. Can you put your lips together and say that with me? B, 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 good, b, 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 very good. So, let's put it right here on the letter B. How about that? That sound good? All right. So, I have some other um, pictures here. And so, I want you to tell me if you think they begin with letter A or if they begin with letter B. Okay? All right. So, let's play this game. Are you ready? Okay. So, let's start right here. What are these? What are those? Yeah, you're right. These are blocks. B blocks. B blocks. So, does the word b blocks begin with letter A? Or does it begin with letter B? Say the word with me, B blocks, blocks. 
Oh yeah, I see someone raising their hand because you always have to raise your hand. So raise your hand. Yes, you're right. You're right. B blocks begins with letter B, B, B. Letter B. Wow, so blocks begins with letter B. We're just going to stick that picture right there because we've already done it. So B blocks begins with letter B. Very good. Okay, let's try another one. Are you ready? What is that? Can you see? Okay, raise your hand. That's right. Someone has their hand raised. Uh, yes, you. You're right. You are right. Very good. So airplane. Airplane begins with a. a. A airplane begins with letter A. Very good. So we're going to put this one right here under that. How about that? So an airplane begins with letter A. And b b blocks begin with letter b b B. Very good. Okay. I have another one. What is that? Raise your hand. That's right. I see you. Someone has their hand raised. Yes. Right there. Very good. You are right. This is a bicycle. It's a bicycle. Now, what letter does bicycle, what letter does b, b, the word b, b, bicycle begin with? B, b. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yes. Very good. B bicycle begins with letter B. You are right. Very good. So let's just put it right here on, right here with the block. How about that? So we have two B things right there and right there. Okay, I have one more thing, okay? So let's do this together. Are you ready? Okay. What is this? That's right. This is the alphabet letters alphabet letters so what sound does alphabet have ah, ah, ah. and what makes the ah, ah sound like an alphabet raise your hand raise your hand that's right um yes you yes you're right yes very good alphabet begins with letter A. Alphabet begins with letter A. Man, you're so good at this. Very good. So let's go over what we have. So let me move this down a little bit. So airplane begins with letter, raise your hand. Yes, very good. A. Alphabet begins with letter, raise your hand. Yes, you. Very good. Letter A. And bicycle. Bicycle. Say that with me. Bicycle. Begins with letter. Raise your hand. Yes. Letter B. Very good. And blocks. B -b blocks begins with letter what? Very good. B blocks begins with letter B. Very good. Man, that is terrific. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go over our sight words that we had from yesterday. Are you ready? Okay, let's just flip this right over, and there are our sight words that we built. And so let's go over those together, okay? So our first sight word is all. A L L is all. Okay, so I want you to repeat it after me. All. Your turn. Good. All. Okay. The second sight word is A T. At. 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 Your turn. At. At. Very good. Our third sight word is S H E. She, she, 
Your turn. She, she, very good. Our fourth sight word is H-E. He, he, your turn. Very good. He, he, very good. And our last sight word, our fifth sight word is who, W-H-O, who, who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Who, who, your turn, who, very, very good. Okay, we are about to do a little stretching and then we'll be on to something else. Great job. So let's get up and move just a little bit and stretch. Get up and stretch. Yes. Let's stretch those palms out. Stretch those palms out. Straight out. Straight out. Straight out. Straight out. Straight out. Now let's raise our hand above our head. Above our head, wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your fingers back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Now wiggle those arms down to your side. Yes. And back out in front of you. Oh yeah. Now let's put those arms behind us. Wiggle them. Wiggle them. Yeah. Wiggle them. Wiggle them out in front. Flat hands waving, flat hands waving. Now let's wiggle our hands while we turn in a circle. Turn in a circle, turn in a circle. Woo! Wow, wow. Freezing, freezing, freezing. Very, very good. Now let's get back to work. It's time to do some math, and I know that you love math. And do you know what? Shapes are a part of math. So lucky for us, as we're learning these shapes, the names of these shapes are written right on the inside. How terrific is that? Okay, so today we're going to learn these shapes together. So let's start here. This first one, just take your finger and just circle it with me. It is a circle. Circle. Say that. S circle. Yes, you try. Circle. Good job. The next one is a pentagon. Pentagon. You say it now. Pentagon. Very good. The next one is a heart. It's a heart. Heart. You say it. Heart. Very good. The next one is a hexagon. A hexagon. You say it. Hexagon. Good job. The next one is an octagon. Octagon. You say it. Octagon. Very good. The next one is a triangle. 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 You say it. Good job. Triangle. The next one is a square. A square. You say square. Good job. The next one is a star. A star. Look at that. Wow. Star. You say star. Good job. The next one is a crescent. It is a crescent. Wow. You say crescent. Crescent. That's right. That's like a half moon. The next one is an oval. Oval. You say oval. Oval. Good job. The next one and the last one is a rectangle. A rectangle. 
you say rectangle. Very good. Very good. Okay, so now that we know what all the names are, now let's go over how many sides the ones who have sides are. So, have. So, this one is a circle. So, it's just one continuous line. So, it doesn't have sides. It just has, it's just one continuous round line. But the pentagon has sides. See? One side, two sides. So let's count these sides together. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. So the pentagon has five sides. And I'm going to write a five right on the inside because the pentagon has five sides. Wow. Okay. The heart is also one continuous line, so it doesn't really have sides, but the hexagon does. Are you ready to count the sides? Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the hexagon has six sides. Six sides. So I'm going to write the number six right on the inside because the hexagon has how many sides? That's right, six sides. Okay, next is the octagon. And look, it has sides. So let's count them together. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight sides. An octagon has eight sides. Wow. So I'm just going to write that right in here. The number eight. Look at that. All right. Next is the, what is this one? You're right. This one is the triangle. The triangle. So let's count the sides of the triangle. You ready? One, two, three. So the triangle has three sides. So let's write that in there. Three sides. Very good. Okay. Now, what is this shape? Do you remember? Yes, you're right. This is a square. Let's count the sides together. Ready? One, two, three, four. The square has four sides. Four. So let's write that in there. Four sides. There, we wrote the number four. All right. Here, what is this one? Do you remember? Yeah, you with your hand up. What is this one? It's kind of a hard one. Yes, you're right. It's a star. It is a star. Let's count the sides. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The star has ten sides. Wow. So let's write the number ten right in there. Look at that. Ten sides. All right. The crescent doesn't really have sides either. It's just a continuous line, but it doesn't have any straight line sides. That's what we should say. The circle, the heart, the crescent, or what is this? Do you remember? Yeah, you. With your hand up. Yes, you. That's right. This is the oval, and it doesn't have any straight line sides either. So the last one that has straight line sides, what is its name? Yeah, you, you have your hand up. Very good. You're right. This is a rectangle. Let's count the sides of the rectangle. One, 
two, three, four. Very good. Very good. So let's just write the number four right in there. Very, very good. Well, this was super fun. Hey, come back tomorrow and we're going to do a little shapes matching. So today we have another terrific book because this is the story time part of our lesson. But first I want to remind you again of our sight words so that you can be on the lookout for these sight words as we read the book. So our sight words are A L L all can you say all 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 good. The next one is a T at say that with me at good job the next sight word is H E he he yes yeah, say that with me he good job the next sight word is S H E she she good job say it good she and then finally, our final sight word is W H O who. 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 That sounds almost like an owl, doesn't it? Who. Who. Who is this about? Yeah. All right. Be on the lookout for those sight words. And you have your sight words. So just keep looking at those that are in front of you. Yep. All right. So today we're reading about some more of those cows. So what part of the book is this? That's right. This is the front of the book. What part is this? That's right. This is the back of the book. You're right. And these words are what? That's right. They're the title. The title of this book is Click Clack Surprise. Looks like a party, doesn't it? And this book is written by Doreen Cronin. And what do we call her since she writes the book? That's right, she's the author. And the pictures are drawn by Betsy Lewin. And what do we call her? That's right, we call her the illustrator since she draws the pictures. Well, I love this great color. What color is that? Yeah, it's green. I love it. Sort of a lime green, isn't it? I like it. Do you like it? Okay, I like it. Here's the title page. Once again, the title page tells us the title, which is Click Clack Surprise, the name of the author, who is Doreen Cronin, and the illustrator, who is Betsy Lewin. This looks like it's going to be a great book, doesn't it? Click Clack Surprise. And look, looks like our main characters are here again. Look, who is he? That's right, that's Farmer Brown. It is a very big day on the farm. A cake is baking. Streamers are streaming. Mice are floating past the window. Wow! Looks like they're getting ready for a big party, doesn't it? Wow, I like those balloons. What color are they? Yeah, they are. What color is this one? Yep. It is red. What about this one? I love yellow, don't you? What about this one? Yeah, it is blue. I like it. Wow. The invitations have been delivered. This is what the invitation looks like. So an invitation is a note that you get asking you to come to a party. The invitation says, you are invited to Little Duck's birthday party. Cake, games, prizes. <gasps> Does that sound fun? Yeah. Oh, pin the tail on the donkey. Oh, no. Canceled by donkey. 
donkey canceled the pin the tail on the donkey game. Duck, duck, goose. Look, duck drew a line through it. Canceled by goose. Oh, no. Steal the bacon. Look, another line drawn through it. Canceled by anonymous request. Oh, no. What does canceled mean? That's right. Canceled is another one of those amazing words. And it means they called it off. It's been canceled. They're not going to have that game. My, that's sad. What's a party without games? Everybody wants to look their best for Little Duck's party. Duck takes a long, hot bubble bath to look his best. I love bubble baths. Do you? Mm -hmm. He rub-a-dub-dubs, rub-a-dub-dubs, rub-a-dub-dubs clean and walks on over to the maple tree. Wow, I love bubble baths. <clears throat> <coughs> and baths are very important. What does it look like he's bathing in? That's right, it looks like he's in some water. <clears throat> and there, what is this? That's right, I think that's probably his towel that he's going to use to do what when he gets finished with his bath. That's right, he's going to dry off. And he's scrub-a-dub-dubbing with what? That's right, his scrub butt brush. But he finishes and he walks on over to the maple tree. Little Duck watches and then rub-a-dub-dubs too. Look, is he big or small? Yeah, he's little. Oh, look, he's having a great time in his bath. It's really good to take a bath and get nice and clean. How often should you take a bath? That's right, you should take a bath every day. And you should use soap and water and then rinse off and then dry off with your what? Towel, that's right. The sheep need a trim to look their best. The snippity clip, snippity clip, snippity clip clean and walk on over to the maple tree. So it sounds like we know where the party is going to be held because they're all walking over where? That's right, to the maple tree. That's right. I haven't seen any sight words yet. Have you? Wow. Little duck watches and then snippity clips too. Oh no. Should you give yourself a haircut? No, no, no. Should he be doing that? Uh-uh. You're right. The cat wants to look her best. She slurp alerts. Slurp alerts. Slurp alerts clean and walks on over to the maple tree. Wow, we haven't even seen Farmer Brown yet, have we? And this is his farm. Little Duck watches and then slurp alerts too. Look, Little Duck is doing everything that everyone else does, isn't he? The chickens take a dust bath to look their best. They shimmy shake, shimmy shake, shimmy shake clean. Oh, oh, can you shimmy shake? Oh, and walk on over to the maple tree. That's right. Little duck watches and then shimmy shakes too. Wow, look at that. The pigs need a mud bath to feel their best. Squish, squash. Squish, squash, clean. They squish and squash and walk on over where? That's right. Walk on over to the maple tree. Man, what is this? What do pigs like to play in? That's right. They like to play in mud, don't they? Little duck watches and then squishes and squashes too. Oh, no. What is he doing? 
That's right, he's playing in the mud, isn't he? The cows like themselves just the way they are. No rub-a-dubbing, no snippity-clipping, no slurp-a-lurping, no shimmy-shaking, no squish and squashing. Look at those cows, there they are, finally. They walk on over to the maple tree. Look at them. They are walking to the maple tree. And what's going to happen at the maple tree, do you think? That's right, the party. Farmer Brown frosts the cake. Oh, there he is. Farmer Brown lights the candles, puts on his best hat, and walks on over to the where? That's right, walks on over to the maple tree. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to... Wait, everybody's at the party except for one person. Who is it? One animal is not at the birthday party. Hmm. Do you know who it is? Think. Hmm. Ew! A birthday surprise for everyone under the maple tree. Oh no, except who? Little Duck, yes, why? Because he's so dirty. It was a birthday party for everyone, including Little Duck. Look at that. Wow, how fun. the end. So, look, there's Little Duck. What did he finally do? That's right, he got clean again. So we didn't see many sight words in here, but we did have some main characters, didn't we? But who was the character that we saw the most in this book? Can you remember? Can you? Oh, remember, let's start here. So there's the cake baking. Big Duck took a bath. Then, then who did? That's right, Little Duck did. So Little Duck took a bath. Then, looks like the sheep trimmed themselves. And then who trimmed himself? That's right, Little Duck. And then Kitty wanted to look her best, so she slurp alerted. And then who slurp alerted? That's right, Little Duck. So who does it sound like this story was mostly about? That's right, it was mostly about Little Duck. So Little Duck was the main character. And then the other characters like the cows and the pigs and the mice, they're also characters, but the main character was Little Duck. This was a fun book, and we will be back tomorrow with another fun Click Clack book. Okay, boys and girls, let's get ready to do some shape shifting. Boys and girls, let's make some shapes. Cones, squares, and triangles are great. And let's all be stars. Get up. Hey guys, let's get ready to move to learn. We're gonna learn about shape. Follow your leader, there she is. Shape, shape.
You're doing a great job. I love your triangles. Great job. See you next time for some more Move to Learn. I've had a super time today. So now I want to let you know the things that you should practice on today. So the first thing, this is in the back of your binder. And you should color the things that are things that begin with letter A. This is an uppercase A. And you will just color the items that begin with letter A. This is the lowercase a, and you will just use your crayons to color the things also that begin with letter A. And if you don't have one of these, you could just stop this and you could just point to the things that begin with letter A for practice, okay? The next thing, that you should do for practice is you should use your uppercase tiles and match those to the uppercase letters on the map here. If you don't have those, you can just make it very easily and you can just match uppercase or capital letters to the things that are the same, which are the uppercase letters here. 
And last but not least, you should use the shapes tiles to match those to the correct shape on this map. So that should give you lots to practice on. I will see you tomorrow. It is time to say goodbye. And Dino and Lammy Poo and I want to say goodbye. Will you sing goodbye with us? Here we go. Goodbye, Miss Flowers class. We're glad you came. Goodbye, Miss Flowers class. We're glad you came. This was such a special day. We're so glad you came today. Goodbye, Miss Flowers class. We're glad you came. Have a great day. And don't forget to do your homework.